I am for the child who's had seven addresses in a single year because she's in foster care, because her father abused her. And her mother, her mother couldn't believe her. She is the child I am for. I am a volunteer child advocate. I am you. Florida residents call toll-free 866-341-1425. Hola Florida, introducing Boricua Beer and Taino Light Beer. Boricua and Taino Light are crafted beers that are rich in flavors and brewed right here in Florida. Taino Beer has a crisp, refreshing Caribbean flavor style when enjoyed chilled. Boricua Beer is a craft L with full body flavor that is a beer drinker's beer. Boricua and Taino Light Beers, enjoy responsibly. Mira, ¿dónde tú estás? Ya estoy aquí, mi vida. Ay. ¿Pero qué están tomando? ¿Pero por qué? Porque me traje lo nuevo y diferente. Taino Light Boricua Beer. Y lo más importante es que es lo nuevo y acabadita de salir al mercado. ¿Y saben buenas? Claro, ambas cervezas tienen los mismos beneficios que una copa de vino. Con menos calorías. La Boricua Beer, 6%. Fuerte, pero con sabor. Y la Taino Light, 4.5%. Y es artesanal. Es Somos familia. Calidad y sabor. Visita boricuabeer.com. I am for the child who's had seven addresses in a single year because she's in foster care, because her father abused her. And her mother, her mother couldn't believe her. She is the child I am for. I am a volunteer child advocate. I am you. Florida residents call toll free 866-341-1425. Tap rooms are localized and they're geographic. The Hispanic community is much broader than one tap room. So what we decided to do was come out with a high quality craft beer, two high quality craft beers that appeal to the Hispanic taste and that we can distribute in all the Hispanic neighborhoods. Taino is a very light, refreshing beer. It's a, it's a social beer that you can drink probably for a good part of the evening and it'll give you a nice light feeling. It's not a heavy beer, it's very airy and it's very light, it's a 4.5 alcohol which is low for beer. The Boricua is a 6.0. Now that's a stronger beer, and we designed it to be a little bit stronger than Heineken. Heineken is a favorite in the Hispanic community, so we have a little bit more muscle than Heineken. Boricua, Boricua right now, in a very short amount of time, it's been a miracle for us because we've gotten a, a large range of acceptance at the retail level. We're in Publix, we're in ABC, Target is picking it up, we're in Sedano's, we're in Bravo's, 7-Elevens are picking it up because they're concentrating more on craft beer and the Hispanic market. So what we try to do is do a quality beer, a high quality beer, more taste, and that the Hispanic community will like. Hola Florida, introducing Boricua Beer and Taino Light Beer. Boricua and Taino Light are crafted beers that are rich in flavors and brewed right here in Florida. Taino Beer has a crisp, refreshing Caribbean flavor style when enjoyed chilled. Boricua Beer is a craft L with full body flavor that is a beer drinker's beer. Boricua and Taino Light Beers, enjoy responsibly. I am for the child who's had seven addresses in a single year because she's in foster care, because her father abused her, and her mother, her mother couldn't believe her. She is the child I am for. I am a volunteer child advocate. I am you. Florida residents call toll free 866-341-1425. Mira, ¿dónde tú estás? Ya estoy aquí, mi vida. Ay. ¿Pero qué están tomando? ¿Pero por qué? Porque me traje lo nuevo y diferente. Taino Light Boricua Beer. Y lo más importante es que es lo nuevo y acabadita de salir al mercado. ¿Y saben buenas? Claro, ambas cervezas tienen los mismos beneficios que una copa de vino. Con menos calorías. La Boricua Beer, 6%. Fuerte, pero con sabor. Y la Taino Light, 4.5%. Y es artesanal. Es Somos familia. Calidad y sabor. Visita boricuabeer.com. 
Hi, I'm Danny Ramos, and welcome to Hispanic Speak Out TV, brought to you every week on Bright House Cable Channel 49. We talk politics, but we have a different point of view than mass media or the big medias. We're little media, but we have big views. So tune in every Tuesday night. You'll see us here at 9.30 discussing politics and some interesting interviews. Our panel is Greg, Greg Perkins. Perkins from EDU TV. Tatiana Serrano. Tatiana Serrano. Bill Garlington. Bill Garlington and Jose Miranda, who's the host of Hispanic Speak Out today. All right, guys, let's, let's start off with one comment, okay? I'm going to try to stay out of this fray. Um, the comment by the Democratic side was that the convention of the Republicans was dark. What does that mean, Greg? <laughs> yeah, it was like gloom and doom. After Trump spoke, it was like the world was going to end as we know it. In the United States, it was like a Mad Max movie that we're all going to be at each other. When crime is actually down, by the way. Okay. Yeah. You got a comment? Any next? The Republican administration Bill, you go. It wasn't How do you the, answer the comment that, that the Democrats say that the Republican convention well, it's that, was a dark... Well, okay, <laughs> to answer your question, it, it wasn't doom and gloom. We feel it's a fact that... Unemployment in the in the black race is sky high. A lot a lot of a lot of people are in fear of not only the police but other races. So yeah, uh, I believe our candidate will it will turn things around. Hope and change. Okay, Jose. It was uh, in fact he, he tweeted this as well. He said it was a crime scene. He yeah. said he said the United States was a crime scene. Okay. Okay, that's outrageous. Mm -hmm. yeah. Totally outrageous. All right. All right. No more comments? I mean, well, you guys I, I, did, I disagree with his well, comment. Well, go ahead. It's not a crime scene. What it is. We is don't have to disagree. Your, your candidate said it. We don't disagree with your candidate. Words. That was his words. I think that by his own party not showing up, it's speaks for yeah. Some people. Yeah, yeah. The governor, when they held the convention, didn't even show up. Yeah, what's well, up with that? Oh, I, I, what's up with that is he only got 1.5 percent of the vote. He's a liberal. So he, he, wanted, he wasn't oh, you, in a conservative. Well, in, uh, in that convention. particular case, you have two people who were kind of a little bit of sore losers, you know? This is a democracy, you go with the vote. The governor, okay, got less than 2% of the vote, and he still wanted to be president. But he's mostly, he's very popular in, in his state, well, by then, the way. Then, he's then very Trump, popular in the state. Trump will lose the state. Okay, he probably he's that will. popular. He probably that's, will. That, that's what politics is. But the he, governor this, is, this guy has not shown that he's a conservative. He's no, I don't think he's, I don't, I don't think, think he's conservative. I don't no. think he's a Republican I don't, either. I don't think he's I, a I don't know what he is, but the country okay. is not well, ready for Well, there's only two, two things you can be. There's right. two major categories. No, 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 sir. Democrat no, sir. No, and different kinds of Democrat. No. Conservative Democrat, middle and liberal Democrat. You have, you have the same thing with you, the Republican He Party. is definitely, to me, a Penn's, a Penn's person. What's that? that? That's a law enforcement terms for a person in need of supervision. He needs to be supervised. <laughs> okay. okay. Well, that's, that's, that is a negative a, dark no, statement. That we is in the know, books. That, we, that's what the law enforcement listen, is. That, he, is the, he is the pitcher. Okay. Should, so in what, fact, he's the poster so child. So what laws did he break okay. for law enforcement to arrest him? I said person in need of supervision. Okay. Right. That means, okay. That, that that means need, a person, no, need a, a person who just she says what email, he wants, server, makes deals, willing to bankrupt people. People, okay, willing not to pay his bills, willing to go uh, build a college on false information, take the money, is being sued, will show up in court in November, okay? Let's see how and, it goes. And the list goes on and okay, on, okay? Okay, so you mentioned so. the court thing, valid, he's going to go to court. Okay. Now, he could have paid everybody back because he has the money, but he, want, he wants to go to court. He didn't that pay. Will what? Out, what about that? Will the, come out in the wash. He what about go, all the? What, what about the people who built for him and said he he, he built he did not pay his bills? Okay. Okay. I, Should let me they tell you wait? How that works. Let me oh, tell you oh, because I contract people. Do you contract people? Oh. No, I contract people. Okay. If someone that I contract, yeah. Okay, and I had a meeting with a major radio station, okay, to yesterday, and we had an agreement. Now that radio station started to change the agreement as we went along. I had a meeting with them, and I said. I am not going to pay you if you change the agreement or if you don't give me what's in writing. Now, that happens a lot in business. Okay. People do not deliver, and then it becomes a negotiation of what to pay. Hey, hey, Jose, check this out. Check this out. 
if you have to explain away his position, you're losing. You ever no, heard that saying? No, if you're explaining, okay. you're losing. Okay. So he's here explaining Donald Trump. No, I'm, I'm explaining. Many bankruptcy. Wait a second. Right. I'm ex- in, in, inviting Russia. What I'm doing yeah, is okay. what I'm There's doing is asking me a question. I'll give you an answer, yeah. which I believe is factual. Yeah, you guys okay? are losing. He is going to court. He has been sued, and the court will decide if he's guilty or not. Okay, I got that. Okay. Okay. Let's take a he hasn't paid right, yeah. some contractors, mm-hmm. and the claim was. Those contractors did not take him to court. He didn't pay them for non-delivery. If they took him to court, you then know that why? Would be I'm fine. sorry. Do you okay. know why you don't take somebody to court that has that's multimillionaire? Do you know why? Be- you're you bring people to yeah. because the guy will bankrupt them while they go to court. That's why. Well, you and they have something? family and friends to you feed. Okay, something? no, if, that's the truth, man. Hold on a second. Hold Read on it second. up. Look oh, it up. Okay, you're you're you great are, at look it up. Look it up. Okay, if you are a contractor. Okay, and you accepted a contract. You have the money, have to have the money to play the game. Okay, you can't That's continue simple. to play the we, game while somebody sucks me. you dry. No, the court system doesn't work that way, Jose. You You're, pay a retainer. Well, no, no. You, you okay, know, we should look up. Look. Is this the first president that's ever filed bankruptcy and ran? We should look that what up. You, it, is Donald Trump? The first presidential no, candidate no. in history that's filed bankruptcy. No, no, Clinton. Harry Bill Clinton. Harry S. Truman. Harry S. Uh, Truman. Ulysses S. Grant. Oh, okay. okay. Bill Clinton. Well, I didn't know. Okay. Yeah, I didn't well, know that. Yeah. Can, can we talk about Debbie Wasserman Schultz? And yeah, let's talk. Okay, bring it up. And, and, bring it up. Okay. Oh, if if people watch the DNC, which in my opinion was a bunch of uh, big no, come on, just all right. No. Okay, let's get to the facts. Save okay. the drama. Don't no. express. Uh, uh, let's get to the facts. But the fact is. They rigged the system that Bernie was saying all along because the emails showed who's they, the Democratic Party. Negative. Showed that no, Bernie it Sanders wasn't was Democratic never Party. Never going to be the nominee. Never was the Democratic Party. Who was it, Party. Jose? Who was it? A guy named Miranda and a guy named what's the second? Um, um, I'm not sure. Was it Garcia? But a couple of Latinos were in there um, making memos. Okay. Okay. Negative memos in a way okay. to undermine so the president. Okay. Let me ask you a question. Okay. Let me ask you a question. If somebody working for Obama does something really bad, does that mean Obama has to resign? No. Okay. So why did Debbie Wasserman Schultz resign? To take the to it. take the heat away from everything immediately, right. not to make it linger right through the right through. And the, she was. The in other words, it was a political decision. She did okay, the right thing. Yeah, but she should okay. have had better right. control over that too. Okay. And she should have got. She should have knocked out those guys immediately. Listen, you That's wanted, what she should have okay. done. Okay. And then there's the other scenario, yeah. which could be that they wanted to cut it immediately because they didn't want to go through an investigation. Or there's another no, scenario no. that Debbie Wasserman Schultz was involved no. from the get-go. Be- because that could the, be. From, from because, the get-go, because she Because the involved. FBI, that's your BS stuff that you always that run, That is man. the fact. Okay, wait a second. Wait, okay, go ahead, go ahead. No, I'm just saying that the FBI is supposedly looking into that as well. Well, let's well. see what happens. Okay, exactly. so... Let's it, and it, it, it'll happens. come out that they had nothing to do with it. And the last time I checked, okay. Hillary won the popular vote as well as, as well. all the delegates, right? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Oh. Go ahead, guys. Go ahead. Don't worry about it. <laughs> oh. The camera's not on me. If, if, if anything, you know, I'm what, you what, what, what I found out <laughs> from the Democrats, which I, I didn't particularly like, is that they decided with Panetta's uh, speech, which was the only place they could probably get in to make their booze, was to stop wars. And this is the guy who helped orchestrate getting Osama bin Laden, the, the only president that said he was going to get him and got him. Okay. Yeah, but I was okay with that. That's okay. what democracy looks like. Sometimes it's messy. And I think they, all, the right but they, they played in the Trump's hand at that point. That, right, little, well, that little second dude, there. Dude, Trump's gonna. He's, you know, so. he's imploding. Look, what you have, you know, let, let's let's be truthful, okay? Yeah. Because I know that you love the Democratic Party. I know he does. I, I, I didn't the say I have. I, I, I love the Democratic Party. I know that you're. Uh, the reality is that Hillary Clinton is a bad candidate. The reality is Donald Trump is a bad candidate. A worse somehow, candidate. Somehow, somehow, these two candidates have bubbled to the top right. because of both have the same kind of audacity. Right. Hillary is very similar to Trump. No, he's not. Okay, yeah. Not in their political philosophy, but no. in their character and their personality. No. They are both relentless. They both don't give up to get what they want. That's the issue, okay? So we have, as a nation, landed up with two candidates that are really both bad. This guy's still but preaching the birth of thing. Come on, man. The, we, the president already slammed them on that. Okay, but we know the Republican Party, the conservative party, knows that what Hillary Clinton will do. 
We're not so sure what Donald Trump is going to do, which kind of scares me. I'm going to be factual on this. But we know what the Democrats are going to do. They're going to set back this country for the next 40 years if you elect a Democrat. Well, yeah. that's okay. Again, that's again, another fact. That's yeah. a Republican conservative. That's point a fact. Of view. I stopped that's smoking that what, stuff. What we're looking okay. at here Mine's is. Mine's a terrible thing to waste. I, 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 hold on a second. We need to get a little what angry we're looking at the Democratic at, Party because what, they're lying to all of us. What we're looking at is. Yeah. What we're looking Trump at is a saint. Hold on, guys. He's what, not lying. What we're looking at He's is. He's full of shit. You right. say what you're doing and you say what you believe. But what we're really talking about is two extreme political philosophies. So everybody is very passionate about it. Republicans are passionate about it. Democrats are passionate about it. Because, in one way, you're right. Whoever gets elected is going to change the course of this country. For 40 years. If it's Democrats, it's going to be for 40 year change. If it's a Republican, it's going to be for a 40 year change. That's why this is such a fever. Because the next guy gets to select at least two, maybe three Supreme Court judges. The next right. girl. So, so let's just. The let, next president. So let's just. Thank be, you. So let's be clear to the audience out there that may not understand the differences between conservatives and progressives. Conservatives believe in freedom, progressives believe in slavery. Want a comment, gentlemen? Yeah, you believe in oh. slavery. Slavery is over. No, conservatives Wake up. Freedom. Wake up. Slavery is okay, over. Okay, guys, it's how, been nice talking to you. It, how's, how's it been? Everybody kiss and make up. This is Danny Ramos. We'll be right back. We're going to take a break, and then we're going to go to a couple of interviews that Jose is doing. We'll be right back. Hola, Florida. Introducing Boricua Beer and Taino Light Beer. Boricua and Taino Light are crafted beers that are rich in flavors and brewed right here in Florida. Taino Beer has a crisp, refreshing Caribbean flavor style when enjoyed chilled. Boricua Beer is a craft ale with full body flavor that is a beer drinker's beer. Boricua and Taino Light Beers. Enjoy responsibly. I am for the child who's had seven addresses in a single year because she's in foster care, because her father abused her, and her mother, her mother couldn't believe her. She is the child I am for. I am a volunteer child advocate. I am you. Florida residents call toll free 866-341-1425. Mira, ¿dónde tú estás? Ya estoy aquí, mi vida. ¿Pero qué están tomando? ¿Pero por qué? Porque me traje lo nuevo y diferente. Taino Light Boricua Beer. Y lo más importante es que es lo nuevo y acabadita de salir al mercado. ¿Y saben bueno? Claro, ambas cervezas tienen los mismos beneficios que una copa de vino. Con menos calorías. La Boricua Beer, 6%. Fuerte, pero con sabor. Y la Taino Light, 4.5%. Y es artesanal. Es Somos familia. Calidad y sabor. Visita boricuabeer.com. Hi, I'm Jose Miranda. This is Hispanic Speak Out TV, brought to you each week on uh, Bright House Channel 49. We come in here at 9.30 uh, p.m. Uh, Tuesday nights. Uh, we also have two other additional programs. We have EDU TV with Greg Perkins, and we have Latina Role Models, uh, which is in Spanish, that re uh, comes right after us. Um, and you'll enjoy some of the shows that uh, are coming up on that, uh, that particular programming. We talk about politics, and, and we talk about education, of course. We talk about social issues, we talk about the Latino community, we talk about the world and, and at large, and the things that affect us every day. And of course, you know right now we're going through a lot of changes and stuff out there. And it's good to see that we're getting fresh blood uh, for fresh ideas in the system. And here to join me, who's running for the uh, city of Daytona, commissioner of District 4, is uh, Christopher Manuel. I just put the last name again? Alcantara. Alcantara. Al Alcantara. How are you, man? How are doing you? well. Pleasure. Now, I understand you're 26 years old. 26, yeah. Okay. And for some reason, you got it in your head that you wish to join politics. So are you feeling well? Is this something that just came upon you? It was oh, a no. mission? Oh, no, I'm feeling great. Um, mm -hmm. This actually started when I was 15 years old. Really? I was living in New York at the time, and I saw a lot of issues in society. And I just kind of had like an epiphany, you know, if I want to have a uh, long lasting change in my community, right. I could do it through policy making. And that's when the passion was lit. And here we are today. I'm running for commissioner. What does the commissioner do in the uh, city of Deltona? Well, in Deltona, any decision, whether it comes to taxes, setting millage rates, whether it comes to hiring city attorney, city manager, pretty much anything that's going to go down in the city has to go through the commission. OK. And I just had one vote. Are, and there's a committee of them, right? There's oh, four yeah. or five um, of them? In, in our city, we have six commissioners and a mayor. Okay. 
I always strikes me as a glee club with one leader, you know, one big pom pom person, and then you guys, you could be the mayor and decide that you want to have uh, bubble gum machines in the city, but you you have to s sit around and make make have a vote, right? Yeah, correct. Um, yeah, our government is um, the city manager is the one who has the most power, and mm -hmm. they take the direction of the commission and, and run with it. And okay, this is up to them how they uh, see that through. What do you see yourself doing or changing? that has not already been done? Well, the city of Deltona is a very unique city. We're very diverse. We're actually the largest city in Volusia County. We have almost 90,000 people, but it doesn't feel like the largest city in the county for a lot of services and for a lot of uh, products, uh, we have to leave the city. When you want to buy clothes, you have to leave. This is the largest city in Volusia County, but if you want to buy some clothes, you have to leave the city. If you want to, uh, most of our therapy services uh, around the area, you have to leave uh, the city for it. So um, we we lack the, the sufficient development for a city of our size, okay. and that's one of the things that I want to help change. And it's, it's not just Deltona, a lot of places mm -hmm. are, are hurting. How do you attract people uh, to, you say, the second largest city here, and, and yet you're not getting uh, your, your, your word out so how do you how do you change that well we have to have a good relationship with the business community we gotta let them know we are the largest city and we're ready to patronize your business come to Deltona and the way we attract the business is to make it as easy as we can for them to come so, you know removing some barriers like um, for example, uh, you're so not going to so give the four to no, let no. them come in. Uh, so we have a code, and talking to the business community, some of the codes are outdated. Okay. It makes it more expensive to uh, build the business than it needs to be. So when you have, when you're a developer, you have millions of dollars to invest. You're looking at Deltona, you're looking at Sanford, you're looking at the land, you're looking at all the cities in the area, and you're gonna, you're, you're, you're trying to see where is it that your inv investment is going to have the, the best return. Okay. And Deltona should be on the top of the list. And right now we're not. Do you see yourself, uh, uh, what type of businesses do you think would flourish best, if you, if you thought about it at all, in, in your place? Well, just thinking off the top, um, we, we could use restaurants. Um, I would like to have an industrial park to bring good paying jobs, okay. whether it be distribution, assembly, um, manufacturing. And I think we, we can do that, we just got to bring you know, the commission together and, and say this is the direction we want to go, how are we going to uh, make it happen? Well, that's going to require educating people, right? Mm -hmm. And so we have to have a second uh, education that's second to none as well. Is that something you're going to look at as well? Um, yes, I think this is an issue that, that, is, um, that most areas have, is a lack of a trained and specialized right. workforce. Yeah. So if you we're talking about assembly, we're talking about manufacturing, you want to have the skilled labor, you know, if you're a manufacturing plant, you're not going to move somewhere where you don't have the labor. Right. But that's working with the because, uh, school board. Because now we're modernized labor. It's mm -hmm. not just labor. It's no more, you so, know, a line thing. It's you have to be really smart with electronics and stuff like that, computer savvy. And that's when, where we have to work with the school board and the school district and say we need more programs to teach these kids technical skills. Um, college is not for everyone. We got to understand that too. Um, we need plumbers, we need electricians, we need um, computer uh, scientists, and find a way to get these programs in their schools right. so that we have a, tr a trained workforce in Deltona and in Volusia County. Again, going back, you're 26 years old, okay? You're gonna deal with a citizenry that perhaps are, are coming in and, and the loads from other country now. And allegedly, I am told, it's more simpler to vote in other places than it is to vote in the United States. Mm. How are you, okay, 26-year-old Christopher, uh, going to change those minds to have them pull that lever on your behalf? I think it comes down to relationships and building relationship with the voters and constituents in the district and mm -hmm. in the city. Um, I think that's what's lacking a lot of times. We see our elected officials at the meetings, but we don't see them at certain uh, public events, but we really don't know our commissioners or elected leaders. And I'm trying to change that by knocking doors, okay. uh, talking to folks, just introducing myself, getting to know them, and uh, giving them the opportunity to get to know me. You're bilingual, you speak Spanish uh, and I am, yeah. Okay. You uh, actually come from a fast moving place to a place that you can watch paint dry, in <laughs> my opinion, sometimes. But it's changing, okay. Um, 
are you, how are you going to go about getting some of this change and get that message across? Um, the city of Deltona, uh, three of the main things that, that I believe we need bis uh, is businesses and jobs. Right. We need to lower taxes. Um, and a lot of times we hear people saying, well, we need to lower taxes, and most politicians will say that, but then they get elected to office and they really don't fight to lower taxes. Why I want to lower taxes in Deltona? Yeah. Because I understand that it's consumption that drives the economy. I understand that. But if you lower, if you lower taxes, mm -hmm. what pays for the roads and the education and stuff like that? Well, ideally, uh, the lowering of the taxes, you're going to put more money in the people's pockets. Okay. They're going to go ahead and spend that money. The more, you the more money you have to spend, the more you spend. They're, they're in turn going to go to the local businesses, the businesses in Deltona, businesses that we're going to attract. And that money is going to start circulating in our community. The problem is that our money leaves the community. It leaves our city. You know, you're going to uh, your doctor's appointment, it's outside the city. You're going to buy clothes, it's outside the city. Right. And we need to find a way, and this is what's plaguing a lot of communities around the United States, is that the money does not circulate. When you pay your mortgage payment, it goes to a bank that's not even in your community. Okay. You know, and, and we need to change that. We need to find a way to have our money circulate and come in this by attracting businesses, putting more money in people's pockets so that they have money to spend at these businesses. Okay. And letting the, the business community know that we have we're the largest in Volusia County and mm -hmm. we're ready to spend our money in your business. Please come. And I think it is it's a it all it's all tied together. We got less than a minute, oh, right. and I want yeah. the people to know who you are. So, tell them who you are and why they should vote for you. And where? My name is Christopher Manuel Alcantara, and I'm running for City of Deltona Commission District Four. I'm running because I want to make our community better. I feel that the leadership we have today have old, tired ideas, and it's time for change. It's time for it's time for us to pump some life into our community. Oftentimes, our money leaves the community. I want to keep our money here. I want to attract business and jobs. I want to help lower your taxes, and I want us to come together as a community. We have a lot of diversity. We're the largest in Volusia County. It's time for us to act as such. It's time for us to be treated as such. So in November, I ask for you to vote for Alcantara. Please follow us on Facebook. You can find me uh, by typing my name, Christopher Manuel Alcantara, and you can also go on my website page, which is voteforalcantara.com. Please keep me in your prayers. God bless you. Thank you. Christopher Manuel. Oh, thank you. And Anna. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm Jose Miranda. This has been Hispanic Speak Out TV. We'll see you again, uh, same time, same station, next week. Hola, Florida. Introducing Boricua Beer and Taino Light Beer. Boricua and Taino Light are crafted beers that are rich in flavors and brewed right here in Florida. Taino Beer has a crisp, refreshing Caribbean flavor style when enjoyed chilled. Boricua Beer is a craft ale with full body flavor that is a beer drinker's beer. Boricua and Taino Light Beers. Enjoy responsibly. I am for the child who's had seven addresses in a single year because she's in foster care, because her father abused her, and her mother, her mother couldn't believe her. She is the child I am for. I am a volunteer child advocate. I am you. Florida residents call toll free 866-341-1425. Mira, ¿dónde tú estás? Ya estoy aquí, mi vida. Ay. ¿Pero qué están tomando? ¿Pero por qué? Porque me traje lo nuevo y diferente. Taino Light Boricua Beer. Y lo más importante es que es lo nuevo y acabadita de salir al mercado. ¿Y saben buenas? Claro, ambas cervezas tienen los mismos beneficios que una copa de vino. Con menos calorías. La Boricua Beer, 6%. Fuerte, pero con sabor. Y la Taino Light, 4.5%. Y es artesanal. Es verdad. Somos familia. Calidad y sabor. Visita boricuabeer.com Hola Florida, introducing Boricua Beer and Taino Light Beer. Boricua and Taino Light are crafted beers that are rich in flavors and brewed right here in Florida. Taino Beer has a crisp, refreshing Caribbean flavor style when enjoyed chilled. Boricua Beer is a craft ale with full body flavor that is a beer drinker's beer. Boricua and Taino Light Beers, enjoy responsibly. 
I am for the child who's had seven addresses in a single year because she's in foster care, because her father abused her. And her mother, her mother couldn't believe her. She is the child I am for. I am a volunteer child advocate. I am you. Florida residents call toll-free 866-341-1425.